Man, these bitches looking hurt. Look how they thirst. Being poppin', it's a curse. Your man wanna look at my skirt first. I make him fill up my purse. 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 I know that you feel uncomfortable. Don't worry about me, boo. You should know with them Javanti shoes. Let's see what that Punali do. He don't follow me on Snapchat. So the plan for today, I'm just going to give you a little rundown of today's vlog. So basically, one, I need to go get my nails done. My nails, okay, they're so bad. Look how outgrown they are. And it's my birthday on Sunday. So yeah, I need to go get my nails done. The only issue with that is because since I've moved into this new place, I don't have a nail tech near me. So I need to like find where it's going to be my regular. And one thing I hate is going to get my nails done, especially in a new place. A lot of you guys have been purchasing what I use for my nighttime skincare routine, which is great. I really can't wait to see how you guys find it. A lot of you guys wanted me to do my morning skincare routine, maybe because I'm not in love with my morning skincare routine the way I am with my nighttime skincare routine. And it's not to say that my morning skincare isn't working. I'm just not obsessed with it, but it's also to like brighten my scarring and stuff, which obviously it has been helping. I haven't had any issues with it. I think I just got a bit bored of it. So I am gonna be switching that up soon. I feel like I'm getting to a place with my skin now that it's relaxed. I can actually, you know, test out some new products, let you guys also know some other good products that I find. And another exciting thing I'm doing today, I'm going for my birthday dress fitting. Guys, guys, the struggle has been real. Like, obviously, like I said, you know, when you have birthdays, there's always something that goes wrong. Obviously, the day hasn't come yet, but I know on the day, obviously, I don't want to keep putting it out there, but I just feel like it's good when you're planning something for your birthday to expect to be disappointed. Like, something, see, if I like friends let you down, something doesn't go how you wanted it to go. You know, I'm just already preparing myself for that. Obviously, with my dress, I was having issues with it. The lady who is designing my dress, she was like telling me how with the whole COVID situation, the fabric that I wanted for my dress is taking longer than what she thought to come. Basically, she didn't know if it was going to come on time and that I should pick a different style and I should like pick what's in stock. And I was literally like, no. Like with me, when I have my head set on something, I'm like, that's what I want and I was just like nah so I decided to wait it out so my fitting is later than usual but the fabric did come I feel like my dress will set the tone because you know when you're really feeling your dress you know like it's gonna be a good day regardless of whatever else may go wrong oh guys I wanted to show you guys my office I've been doing bits and bits of my office and I've decided after my birthday I'm literally because I know everything I want to buy for it so after my birthday I'm just gonna buy everything that I want for that room and just get that room done because there's so many videos I want to do and stuff bare videos and I just want there to be a place for all of that so let me show you what I've done. So what I've done so far to this room. Sorry guys, the room is a bit messy. <laughs> I have my laundry that I need to sort out, but I got this cute chair from, this cute sofa from eBay. It's a sofa bed, so I can still turn it into a bed if I have that many guests over. And on top of that, I have like some art on the wall with gold rims, and I absolutely love the design. I don't know if you can tell, but my sofa also has gold on here. So like in this room, I kind of want the decor to be like, you know, gold accessories, gold to get some cream cushions for the sofa. This artwork, I got it from Desenio. I don't know if you remember, but in my bedroom, I got some artwork, but the one that I got in my office is completely different. This is a flower. Then we have the Coco Chanel. I don't do fashion, I am fashion. Then we have this um, photography, which I think is so cute. So just some cute bits of artwork but yeah as i was saying on the senio's website they do this thing where you can see people's artwork already so all i did was i picked i went through their wall art on their website and you can see how it will look all together with like small different kind of paintings and you can add the whole thing to your basket with the um, artwork with the frames and everything which made it so convenient for me because i'm not gonna lie when i'm gonna decorate my room i don't have time to be seeing each individual artwork i want what size 
size I want this one, what size I want that one. So it literally done all of that already on the website and I just see the wall that I want and just add that whole thing to my basket. The Senio are doing a 30% discount offer this weekend. And I also have my personal discount code, which is Adiola10, which gives you an extra 10% off. So guys, this offer is so amazing, but it ends on the 12th of October at midnight. So don't miss out. Let me tell you the rest of the plans I have for hair. So I plan to get like a little table, like with like gold rims, put some magazines or some books on there, on that side. On this side where you can see all my boxes and stuff, I'm actually going to get like two Ikea drawers on each side where I can put all my like skincare storage, makeup storage, and then put like a table of across that and so that will be like a table but it will be like my glam section where I can get ready and have a little vanity mirror there and a little stool underneath where I can get ready and on top of here I'm thinking to get a neon light so get some neon lights on top of there that says you know the vibes already so it will just be like different sections of this room that I can film in so I'll be able to film with like that on the background with you know the vibes already I'll be able to do chit chat videos here and then I'm also having a friend he's made Making me a desk as well which I'll be able to like just sit and edit videos or if I just want to like um, film makeup videos as well I can actually just put all my tools there and just like switch the table around any part of this room where I just want to sit down and film but you know we're getting there let me show you what I show you what I added to my room I got this really cute I added this footstool to my room it's so cute um I've been meaning to get some flowers to put in this vase but clearly I just have been taking my time with it but yeah this footstool is so cute i got it on furniture one two three i will link it in the description box i'll put everything in the description box anyway so guys i'm briefly just going to show you my morning skincare routine so the first thing i use is a vitamin c soap i actually don't have the box for this anymore so i'm just going to link it in the description box yeah vitamin c is just good for brightening your skin and then for my toner i use this brightening toner morning skincare is here it's very basic for my serum i use niacin i use the brightening and hydrating emotion for dark and rough skin and i use um, a collagen power firming eye cream and then lastly I finish off with SPF I don't know I don't think I've updated you guys on YouTube but I've done a blog post about this SPF which is the black girl sunscreen a lot of you guys recommended this sunscreen to me in my SPF video and I was testing out a lot of SPF and honestly guys this is now my favorite SPF it leaves my skin glowing no white casting, it's moisturizing, like honestly, I literally love it. If you wanna check out my blog on the review on the Black Girl Sunscreen, I'll also link that below. But yeah guys, this is my skin after I've done my morning skincare. As you can see, that SPF literally left no traces of white casting. Honestly, really absolutely love it. So that is what I use for my morning skincare routine. So yeah, I'm just gonna get ready now. Um, not get ready anything glam just get ready to head out and get my nails done and actually you know start my errands so wow I look so crazy right now oh my weird I just feel like I've just been running up and down but I just got my nails did I just went for oh, I can't see it yeah so I just went for ombre white tips because I just wanted something simple all oh, like acrylic all over my hands and stuff yeah i'm really just gonna go now to my dress fitting i'm gonna take my heels with me um simi she sent me some heels which i think might go with the dress and i feel like i might as well take the heels with me as well so i can see when i have the dress on the real vision because i might not like anything so yeah to be fair i think i'm gonna eat something quickly so i don't i have nothing in my house that i can quickly eat everything i have to like make so i feel like i'm just gonna have cereal the ghetto so i'm about to see my I'm same <laughs> Yeah, oh. oh no it's just gonna be on me just updating my vlog so guys i'm about to see the, the dress 
How do you feel about it? I think you like it. Yeah. I think it's nice. It's very sparkly. Really? It's more sparkly than I thought. Really? Which is a good thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, do I have to try it on? Yeah. I do, isn't it? Yeah, do. Okay, guys, I'm going now. The next day. Good morning, guys. I literally just climbed out of bed. Um, it's seven in the morning. And today I have a photo shoot with my new management. Um, and they sent me a mood board of, like, outfits I should bring and stuff for this photo shoot. And I should have done it last night, but I was so tired. So basically, it's her. Go through my wardrobe and try to find outfits, like create kind of outfits similar to the mood board they sent me, which is like this. If you can see, it's not really anything too hard, but yeah, I need to, and I need to fully get ready, get glam, and leave. I need to leave my house by 10 o'clock and be ready to get on the train to be there on time. I'm really, really nervous about this photo shoot because I only ever really shoot with one photographer and I've never had like a proper photo shoot like where, you know, someone else has booked it for me. I'm really nervous and I just always get nervous that people can't shoot me properly or edit me properly, so. In this class, um, I need to charge my battery so we have enough footage for the rest of today. Oh, I didn't update you guys on my dress. I really like it. It's a bit much, but I really like it. And you guys will see it at my birthday vlog coming very, very soon. But yeah, I'm just gonna spend my time going through my wardrobe, trying to find fits, get ready, get glam, and head out. But I'm gonna charge my battery quickly. So guys, I am ready now. I'm about to head out. I'm on time and I had breakfast. I haven't done my lips because I have to wear a mask, which is so annoying because I just feel like it's gonna ruin my makeup by the time I get there. They wanted me to go for like natural glam and I think, I think I kinda done that. But um, got my uh, bag of stuff. My bag can't close. I didn't really know what to take, but yeah, um, I'm about to head out now. Oh, I hate carrying big bags on the train. A few moments later. So guys, it's a bit later, obviously. The shoot was okay. I think I was a bit awkward at first because I was just really nervous. And then, you know, you've got to like build rapport with someone that you've never met. All done. Basically, guys, what I'm doing is, well, today I was supposed to go for food testing for my birthday dinner. And I was... First of all, I actually was too tired. And secondly, the chef that I'm doing, she kind of lived a bit far. It was like a 45 to 50 minute drive. Thirdly, my event planner couldn't make it either. So if I was going to go, it would just be me by myself. And I just felt like I'd had enough of first time social interaction today. So basically what we're doing is we're putting the food in an Uber to bring it to me to see if I want to make any changes and stuff to the menu. Even though if I would, it would be very late. I'm just hoping I like everything because it is my um food tasting is here i'm really nervous to try this so i'm starting with my starter moving on to the mains i'm really nervous still have the shell on it. Okay, so I just saw your message and I just have a call because obviously we need to, I need to know what you don't like and obviously get her to change as soon as possible. So you said the starters, you said the starters is not crispy, but I have the shell on it. Yeah, like, I don't know, like when I'm eating it, like I feel like I have to take out, you know when you eat and you've got bits in your mouth that you can't really, this, I don't know, I just don't really like that. 
and the rice i don't know i don't know what she can make butter i just feel like it's just her like obviously this is just how she cooks wow okay let me let me call her I have phone back. Let me call her. Okay. Okay. Bye. I feel so bad, but I just feel like I have to be honest because, like, I'm paying for it. Do you know what I mean? Like, and because it's a dinner, if I don't like the food, this is the whole reason people are coming. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm just happy I don't have to say it to the actual caterer directly, do you know what I mean? Because honestly, the whole ground would have to swallow me. Just tell her what the mistake you see on the so she can correct it because you don't want to add any more money to what you pay. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't have time. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Aura is calling me. All right. Okay, bye. Hello. Hi. Oh, all right. What happened? Everything. Huh? Is this, what? Just everything. So how can I say to her, I was like to my, because I was just proper panicking because I was thinking all my days, like I'm, I'm proper having a dinner and I haven't even tasted the, the chef's food. Oh, yeah, it's true. Like I don't even know if this person can even cook because I don't know. So then, yeah, because I know I can be a bit picky, but it's like, you know, if it's a dinner, the food has to be on point kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, can I have a testing? So I had the testing they, and I got the food today. Why is the food dead? Oh. That, like, all right. Fam. Fam. <laughs> all right, like, it was even to the point that, you know, that like, I'm like, I was kind of hungry, you know, you live by yourself, you're kind of hungry, it was proper food yeah, and that plus, yeah. I didn't even finish it, like I had like bites, put it, and I'm not even thinking about eating it tomorrow. Oh, oh hold on, the, the, no I have it, hold on, the events panel is calling me again, let me call you back. Alright, call me back. Okay. Hello? Hi, dear love. Hi. So I just had back from the other cage wrap for 28 people. So there's 26 of you sitting and then obviously your photographer and videographer. She said 980. So that is close in price. But I've also sent you the Insta. Like they are more like professional. And I don't know them, but I've tasted the food before. You can check the Insta. Like you can see that they're more professional. They do weddings. They do all sorts. So, oh, that um, food looks nice. The other person. How does it look to the page? I'm um, just still looking. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, take it easy. <laughs> oh. I made this go really good. Uh, I had her spring rolls and her chicken wings are really nice. And she's local. Um, um, but also, the only thing is, I don't know how much she charges us for anything. That's a good team. I hope you're not sending me them girls that make food in their uni kitchen. No, no, no. She actually does it like proper. She works in the kitchen and stuff. Like, if you bring her page, you'll see. Oh, her And her jello fries is nice. Yeah. But when I had it, it was nice. And look at her prawns as well. Ooh. Where's her prawns? I don't like this prawns that look like it's just come out of the ocean. <laughs> no. Baby, baby, I'll be. Hello, baby, see me on TV now. The love is real, dog.